עצמי בשבילי היום, כשאני מסתכל אחורה, הייתי מגדיר אותו, זה יהיה מוזר, אבל הייתי מגדיר אותו בשבילי בדיוק כמו משה. צבי, for me today, as I look back, strangely enough, is exactly like Moses. It's funny, but he's like a savior. For various reasons, none of us kids had the same starting point, but we all had to go through something which was difficult to do alone. Therefore, we needed someone to lead us. In the first simple thing, such as learning to distinguish between right and wrong at that age. You, V guided us. You opened for us a whole new world. Eventually, each of us went on our own way, but during the first step, which is so critical, you led us. I tell you, I remember silly things about you. You were for me a fatherly authority, that quiet voice, even that anger. I accepted it. Here I said I have a father. Not my real father, but I can adopt a father, so I adopted you. In all those moments, I remember so well. The night patrol, acting the heroes, marching in the night, crouching down. It was quiet. It was lovely. We consider Tzvi as our father because many of the members of the institute there was some of, many of them without parents. They didn't fail. What does it mean to live with parents? And uh, one of the songs that uh, I would like to play is the song that we used to sing after the meal, Friday evening, was Tur Michelo Achalnu. And um, the melody was like this. Time is, is passing and we are very glad that we managed finally to, to meet each other and to be able to express and to tell you thank you for what you did for us. This will not be forgotten. You remember Tzvi when I shared with you with my dream that I carry with me about uh, almost 30 years of the prophet Yechaskel about the dry bones and um, I, I brought this to a level of uh, a musical. You can see how many things in the Bible that prophet says it comes true today today and if you need to add another elements in order to develop the imagination of the students even elderly people who lost faith can come back and return to believe in God in the 1950s, Zvi joined the Israel prison services and quickly rose through the ranks, eventually becoming a decorated and highly esteemed general. There is many things in the prison service system in Israel that I was the first one to start it uh, against the will of my superiors and my colleagues in the other jails. But we did it. In the late 1960s, Zvi was asked by the Ministry of Defense to go as the head of an IDF delegation to the African country of Senegal. There, for two and a half years, Zvi and his precious wife Esther and children learned to love and respect the African people. Jews were never agricultural. You know the Jews were not allowed to work in agriculture. They never had land that I had. I was in Africa as an Israeli expert 
to help them in, in, in building a system of education and agriculture. When I was there, I felt the responsibility of my state, and I did everything. My experience in, my, in, the, in Senegal, where I was, that we had succeeded to increase the quantity of peanuts. Peanuts is the national biggest export product that Senegal has. We had succeeded to increase it from 35 kilograms per dunam to more than 250 kilograms per dunam on the second year of my group that was there. In recent years, Zvi met a special family of new immigrants from Ethiopia, the Avrahams, who have 10 gifted children. Esti, one of their youngest daughters, met with Zvi and asked for his help to finish her education. Zvi personally paid her tuition fees, first as a criminologist and secondly as a lawyer. She's just recently passed her bar exams. I've already said that Zvi has done so many wonderful things, especially for the weaker groups to which I belong. I can only say that in order to finance my studies, especially law school, which is very expensive in this country. When Svi heard of my intentions, he told me not to worry, you are going to learn this profession and I will help you, and it is actually thanks to him that I am almost at the end of my studies. Having retired from the prison services in the late 1970s, Svi found himself more and more involved with Christian Zionists, again with the Danish-Jewish Friendship Association. The inspiration for our organization is uh, from Isaiah 41, comfort, comfort my people. So most of the volunteer work has been uh, in uh, a comforting social uh, work. We have been helping in uh, old people's home, we have been in handicap institutions, in hospitals, and uh, I myself have been uh, volunteering in, uh, in a hospice and in a psychiatric ward for, for many years. Uh, I think God blessed me to do this work. And to Linda, you, she, she, she was very special. She was very unique. She was very nice. Don't do this. To she me. was very serious. And I think that she made the found. She put the foundation of the work of the volunteers, and we follow the way that she worked, and it helped us. And I appreciate that, and if I may say, on behalf of all the elderly people who have been helped by you, elderly, mentally sick people, whatever, I am sure that if they were here, they would say wonderful things about you.